even though I kind of knew the characters and I knew the story, um, I was still very moved and very emotionally engaged with the characters. And I did not expect that at all. Did not expect that. Last Day of June is a game about love and loss. It tells the story of this guy named Carl who loses his wife in a car crash. And it revolves around the concept of loss and regret. So we're actually following Carl through the journey, through this personal journey where he's trying to accept what happened or to move on from what happened to June, to his wife. Initially, we play as Carl, but we also get to play as June, and we also get to play as all the other characters that actually unknowingly had a role in causing the crash. I had a, I had a very nice conversation yesterday with, with the director of Last Day of June, Massimo. We both had to smile when we, when we talked yesterday, because um, the things they did with Last Day of June was 15 years later, as I did the original story. We never had any conversation. But the, the visuals they, they have chosen and many um, small but very beautiful details are so close together um, to, to touch the people um, that we really agreed that there is some kind, there seems to be some kind of a common spirit about uh, the story. The transition from Dry Boom to Last Day of June is being a very personal one, I guess. Uh, still um, vibrating very much with the same frequencies of dry bum. So it's like, in a sort of like magical fashion, all these minds involved in the project were like clicking together in a, in a magical way, even without talking too much to each other. To be so emotionally invested in the character and the quest and the journey is something that I was very pleasantly surprised by. I didn't think computer games could engage you on that level. Massimo, I think, had a pretty kind of strong idea of what he wanted this, you know, how he wanted the gameplay to be. And it was all about this kind of like emotional journey that you go on, but it's like all backwards and mixed up and, you know, you don't quite know what you're doing. Um, and so that stuck really, that was, that was exactly how we, the process of the music video went. The transition has been incredibly personal because it also was based on my personal belief that uh, gameplay mechanics in a video game should support as much as we can uh, narrative, meanings, and also emotions, like in this case. We were looking now at some of Hayao's original paintings from 12, 13 years ago. And you can completely see those as the, the foundation for the computer game. Well, Drive Home was originally Hayao Muller's uh, idea, really, because the story and the characters were created by him. You know, the video and the song came later. Um, it's, his, it's his story and they're his, his characters. Music was always very, very important to me. It was a very, very important part of my life. And um, unfortunately, I'm not talented enough to be a musician by my own. But I always had the ambition to combine my work with music. The original story um, had the title The Story of Charles and Lucy. At this time, it is about 15 years ago, that I started to work on the story that became later Drive Home. Um, I wanted to, to create some kind of a bigger love story um, because I was struggling with my love life at this time myself. It talks about um, two main characters, uh, a couple. Actually, it talks especially about the main male character and uh, the feeling of, of the loss, the person you love most, and how can you deal with such a big loss and try to accept it. Then, when you accepted it, um, to go on again, to live your life again. Yeah. I was writing an album at the time called The Raven That Refused to Sing, which was an album that was going to be based on the idea of the ghost story. And more specifically, the ghost story as a metaphor for dealing with loss and dealing with regret. It's fair to say that the ghost story came about because of 
a need for human beings to um, deal with death, deal with loss, losing loved ones, that kind of need to feel like they're somehow still there. And one of the ghost stories was one that Hayo himself proposed to me. He said, look, I've already got this story about this couple, and I've already drawn these images, and I've created this kind of book. And he sent it to me, and it became the inspiration for the song Drive Home. So Jess did, uh, later on, took, took the characters, took the song, took the sentiment, took the story, and kind of adapted it for her video interpretation. So we wanted to make the video kind of do it in like kind of sections and um, like skipping from the past to the present. And to do that, we um, to kind of make it to differentiate the, uh, differentiate the different worlds. We had two different styles of animation. So I decided to kind of go along more of like a psychological thriller, but keep Hayo's original kind of artwork. Um, as, as like the framework, I guess. I, I think it was like an emotional journey to, to not know exactly what this guy is going through at the start of the video. You actually don't know what's happening and, and, um, uh, until the end where it all like becomes clear. So it's like a puzzle. I think one of the things sometimes you struggle to find in, in the world of the arts these days is someone that has a really unique personality visually or musically. Where you have to know, I, I was very deep in the story. I, I have written the story together with Stephen, so actually I thought and couldn't be really surprised, but I was really blown away when I seen the results. I think this is a big compliment uh, for the makers of Carl, uh, the last day of June, and the characters of Carl and June, because um, it also talks about a um, great sensitivity of all the uh, makers of this video game. Um. And I think that, that idea that the game is just as much a piece of art as those paintings and the video and the, and the song is, is part of what was so surprising to me, you know. Uh, it's almost like I've been living in a, in a sort of desert, on a desert island for the last 30 years and I've been unaware of the elevation of the computer game to the same level as, as music and cinema and poetry and, and, and painting as a, really, as a really legitimate art form.